my dear sisters and brothers in Christ as we enter the second sunday of advent the gospel reading from st matthew begins with an invitation of john the baptist for the people to repent he announces the imminent coming of the messiah by telling them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand now john is inviting the people to meet jesus personally to receive the blessings but they need to prepare their hearts and minds to have a personal and living relationship with jesus zachariah and elizabeth the parents of john the baptist belonged to the priestly family priesthood in the old testament was originally reserved for the first born sons of israel but when the jewish people participated in the worship of the golden calf at mount sinai god took away this right from the first born sons then he gave the priestly work to the tribe of Le- levi who did not worship the idol it was to teach them about their special call as god's people and the need to respond to it with responsibility here john the baptist also represents all those who worshiped the true god of israel at the same time he is chosen to lead the people to jesus who would inaugurate a new kingdom based on the new covenant of love so john can be called the last prophet of the old testament and the first prophet of the new testament the mission of john the baptist was to direct people's attention to christ he invited them to a life of conversion and to accept christ he was direct in announcing the imminent judgment every tree therefore that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire likewise he radiated a special joy coming from his intense prayer life which made him closer to god his sanctity was irresistible and the people listened to his words and followed his directions here john the baptist is a great model for us to present jesus to the world our church is in dire need of prophets who could courageously preach the gospel we need to convert our hearts and minds worthy of receiving christ our home should be a place prepared for jesus to enter and to stay john the baptist challenges us to go into our own deserts of prayer to develop our closeness to christ advent is a time of preparation and we should travel to the wilderness to deepen our relationship with god john the baptist to re- received the meaning of his life and mission in relation to the life and mission of christ we should also follow his model in finding the true meaning of our lives we should all have a clean heart and mind to welcome Christ 
during this Christmas. Let us prepare ourselves to have a deep friendship with Jesus and to have a life of holiness to welcome Christ in this Christmas. Then let us go out to the world to witness Christ through our words and deeds.